Hi, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about Amazon stock. So Amazon has taken a hit recently with the overall market. It's come down quite a bit. And I just want to talk about what I think about that. And should you invest in Amazon or should you not? Quick disclaimer, I am a math and finance guy. I have no you know, financial certifications or anything like that. Um, this is just my opinion. So always make your own investing decisions. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the chart here. And this is just not really a chart. It's kind of just like, it's a chart, but it's not something a technical analyst would use. Basically, I went into Google and I typed in AMZM, that's the ticker for Amazon. And you can see the price right now. I'm gonna hit refresh on my browser to give us a, a live price here. Currently, the price of Amazon is $103, it says. Uh, right now, that's the price. And if I click on max, there you see the price uh, over a period of time. So you can see what happened here is it hit about 183.83 and now it's down to like, you know, 102.96 it says now. So Amazon recently did a 20 for one stock split. So what that meant was if you had one share of Amazon, um, they gave you 20. <laughs> so, and the price was divided by 20. That's basically what happened. Um, and so basically if you take the stock price now, multiply it by 20, that's what it was a little while ago, but that's the past. You want to think about it as, okay, Amazon was at, you know, 183.83 or so. The high, 52-week high is 188.65. Now it's at 102.98. That's that's a pretty big drop, right? That's a, a fairly significant uh, drop from, from the high. Um, I mean, we can, we can just do the math right here. 188.65, it says, right? So let's, let's type that in. So 188.65 minus... 102.86 divided by 188.65. Let's see what, what percentage that is. That's a 45.4% drop in the stock price, okay, since the high. So Amazon is down over 45% uh, as of today, June 14th, 2022. So what does that mean? Let's go back to the chart. In my opinion, that means it's a buying opportunity. Am I right? Could it keep going down? It certainly could, right? Look at Robinhood stock. I mean, that, that was an IPO. It went up and it's been going down. It certainly could. The difference is Amazon is a very established company, right? Amazon delivers groceries to your door if you live in a metro area. Amazon has its own trucks that deliver for them. They don't use UPS. They don't use FedEx. They do sometimes, right? They do. But they have their own branded trucks. They, they, you know, they, they have a network, a logistics network that they're in charge of. Amazon has a huge marketplace from sellers from all over the world. I mean, they have their web services, which are amazing, by the way. I mean, AWS is incredible. It's inexpensive and it's awesome for anything you want to do. Uh, if you're a developer and you're trying to do something on your own, it's amazing. So they have all of these resources. They deliver food. Um, they deliver products. Um, they have web services. I mean, it's, it's hard to believe Amazon is going to fail. And the fact that it's gone down so much from, you know, where it was just a, a few months ago, in my opinion, means it's a buying opportunity. I mean, that's my take on Amazon. Just to give you, uh, you know, a state of the market now on Amazon, what I think uh, about the stock. So what do you think about Amazon? Do you think it's a good place to buy it here? Do you think it's a bad place to buy it here? You know, you can look at the financials, you can look at the charts, but that's information that everyone knows. And that's all you have. So you try to make your predictions based off that information, but you really have to use your gut instinct. Peter Lynch used to say, buy what you know. And so it's what you think. Do you think Amazon is a good buy? If you do, then you should buy it. If you don't, then you shouldn't. But you're the one who has to make the decision. And always remember that when you're reading finance articles or you're watching YouTube videos, because there's a lot of people out there that will tell you this is going to happen and that is going to happen. But the truth is nobody knows. My opinion, Amazon's a buy. I could be wrong. It could collapse tomorrow. As a disclaimer, I currently own zero shares of Amazon, but I'm really thinking about buying some. So let's just say I own one. I'm going to, I'm going to try to scrounge up some money to buy one. If you have any questions on Amazon stock or anything else, leave a comment in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe for more finance videos like this. Good luck. Take care.